I know. I know your daughter's father wants you back. Who wouldn't? But you also see my darling, I love you. I love you. And I'm ready to make you happy. Mark, please just wait. Look, I'm not in that mood right now. I said that I needed time to think about this relationship. In fact, I, I need to go pick up my daughter. She's been waiting for me. Susie! I want to ask you for the last time. Are you in any other relationship? I'm ready to fight for your love. And I don't care whatever it takes. Mac, look, whatever is happening to me right now has got nothing to do with you or with the relationship. It's all a very bad timing of event. Look, don't worry, okay? Uh, don't worry, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Sorry, I want to get something down the road. Small, small. Hey, the small shit I've been saying you want to see me now. I just want to show you. Yes, I was, um, as a matter of fact, there's something I want you to do for me. Uh, very important. Uh, anything. Just what down. Anything now. And if you do this very well, I'll reward you handsomely. Hey, I think sorry. Sorry to let you have some rewards. I'm sorry, I know they got you. You know, sir, I like you very much. No. And you know, we are, we are from the same place. So I want you to to have this money mm. and get some really nice clothes for yourself. <laughs> I want you to really look good. I teach you. I don't understand. Hey, give money for clothes. I get enough. I get enough for us. I want you to go after a girl for me. Hey, they don't gas. I say don't gas. They don't gas. They don't gas. Me? No, they go after me. You know, no, 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 no,
you know, and you know, the girl now, what, what if you got fuck? I will take her more. If she fall, if she all drop, by me, take her. You know. But Philip, what is that supposed to mean? Okay, look, I'm not asking you to go there and start a relationship with this girl. No. What I want you to do for me is just, just get there, get me the information that I need, and drop this girl. Period. And one more thing, Philip. Nobody must hear about this. I had a small. Not even your sister. I see that Philip. Hey, I see that small. See, yeah. Ah, little. As long as you know the. As long as you know, I'm perfect. And as I talk to you, sir, I don't, I don't get the bed, but I don't, I don't finish that. Shoot sh sh in my house. Shoot sh sh for us, I don't get her finished. Hey, but, I don't know, the guy, she be VGC, I be mushing, you know, because, you know, whether she be a Paco, you know, I be a Jack. Can I go determine the love you when you want to flow? You know that Philip. <laughs> Look, don't worry. It's it's not going to give you much of a problem, okay? But just get this job done for me. I will surprise you. Hey, hey, hey. Seriously, Philip. Seriously. As, as your problem, so as the thing take your problem, so I don't carry on. I don't carry on for her. You know, and as they go ahead, they don't come across me. Go carry on. Okay. Go, you know, you know who person that I be that to. That's I, what I want to hear. Yeah, take you. it seriously. Enough. You know, just get this job done, and I'll surprise you. Seriously. Have give me Friday. Uh, Just give me to Friday. You can see. All right, take this for your. Hey, my sister, you're a wood day. I am not scared. Food day has because better one begin to me. <laughs> don't worry, I made something really nice. Hey, but not twice. Yeah, you don't wood day, sister. I want to eat finish. I want to show that sister. I want to eat. I want wood. Let's see. Hey, you know, food. supposed to answer that question, am I? Because as far as I'm concerned, there's nothing wrong with me. I didn't say anything was wrong with you. I, I'm just saying, how can you not be speaking to me? How can you not pay me any attention? What is it I've done that is so terrible you want to throw out my... Oh, Peter, please. Don't just go sanctimonious on me right now. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Oh, because you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Just look at you. You actually think you can walk in here any day and then you have me jumping at you, congratulating you for having an affair with your secretary? Don't you have any shame at all? My secretary? If you believe 
what you just said. How come you've not confronted me all this while? How come you've not asked me anything? Why have you been silent over the whole matter? very important I wanted to tell my husband and then I walk into your office just to find your secretary all over you fully with your clothes what would you have done if you were my shoes Peter or oh, from a party I suppose far from it look honey what you saw was not what you saw I was in my office and all of a sudden I felt a sting in my back I shouted my secretary ran in and tried to help me with the problem. <laughs> Actually, it turned out to be a black ant. <laughs> and at that very moment, you walked in and met us in that compromising position. And I, I, I was so embarrassed and confused, I didn't know what to say. So, why didn't you explain all this to me? I, I, I felt that if I, if I ran back to you and tried to explain that you wouldn't believe me, that yeah, you would call right. me a liar and a cheat. You're yeah, right. Because I know exactly what I saw that day. Maybe if you had explained things to me, maybe I would have believed you. Look, the truth of the matter is this, Peter, right now, I just can't, you know, bring myself to trusting you again.
I'm here to see engineer Peter Sinojoko. He's expecting me. Tell him, Philip. Um, sir, there's a Mr. Philip here to see you. You may go there. Down the corridor, first down the right. Thank you. Drink some juice, cool you down. Juice will be fine, sir. Okay. Fina, get us some juice, okay? Some cold juice. How's work, sir? Let's just say I'm not complaining. How far have you gone with the investigation? Any news? Uh. If you just give me a few more days, I'll get you something very good. A few more days? Yes. No problem as long as you bring results in a few days. Are we? Yeah. Something very good. Also intelligent, you know. <laughs> I saw the way you were craning your neck. <laughs> sir, uh, on a very serious note, sir, I I think your wife is suspecting you're having an affair with her, sir. With Fina? Yes, sir. She actually paid me to investigate the both of you. My wife paid you. Investigators. Yes, sir. Women can be very unpredictable. So that makes you a double agent. Ah, oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. I wouldn't do that. Oh, good. Yes, can I see? Okay, I wouldn't do that to you. I mean, you've been nice to her family even before you married her, sir. And I wouldn't sell such information even if it exists, sir. Well, it doesn't exist anyway. So? Or did she promise you something? She actually wanted me to start dating Fina. That way I can extract information from her. But the problem is, sir, I am beginning to like her. And I, I, I don't... I hope you're not offended by that, sir. Oh, no, not at all. Not at all. Um, you're my friend, and uh, from what I know about you, I think she's the right person for you. Thank you, sir. But just make sure you don't mention me. Oh, no, I won't. I won't, sir. I won't. And by the way, she's very well paid and she lives in an expensive apartment. Sir, so that's where I have a problem, sir. I don't know how to get her to start liking me in the first place. I mean, if I started my cadet program, it would have been a lot much easier. Why don't you just tell her the truth? Yeah, tell her the truth. Tell her what you think about her, what you hope to be in the future, if she's the right person for you. 
maybe she'll understand. It's not that easy, sir. I mean, how can I tell a working class lady that I want to start having an affair with her and I'm yet to start a cadet class? It's not easy, sir. I I'd rather play an officer. <laughs> well, it's your choice. But just make sure it doesn't affect me. Oh, no, I won't, sir. Um, I apologize for the other day. I'm sorry. I was wondering if you would uh, let me make it up to you with a lunch date, say maybe tomorrow. Well, unfortunately, my tomorrow is occupied. Uh, but I'll just take your number and call you later this evening, is that okay? Okay. Alright. So, your number? Yeah. Double three. Okay. Alright. Zero five nine. I love you and I've done everything a man would do to convince his lady of his love. But you keep rebuffing me. Darling, I'm ready to adopt your daughter. Mark, how many times do I have to warn you to keep my family out of this relationship? Look, all we have in this relationship is nothing but just to... Don't let me say what you wouldn't want to hear. Susie, don't do this to me. Listen, I've told my mom about you and she's hoping to see you as soon as she returns from the East. Darling, I've never felt this way for any woman before in my life. Please marry me. Susie! Susie!
What is it? Nothing. Peter, what is it now? Can't I touch you again? What is wrong with you? Even when I'm not in the mood. Look, Peter, I have a lot of work to do tomorrow. Just let me have some rest. Good night. What kind of nonsense are you talking about? For two months now you've been playing games with me. It has to stop now. I'm your husband and I want to make love to you. I can't go out and make love to another woman. And I say no! Peter, good night. you could have done better than that. Tony, what do you want me to do? We've never had this kind of problem. I was just struggling with her trying to make her see reason. I didn't rape her. And this all started just two months ago. Whatever, Peter, whatever. When and how it started is not the problem. The issue is that this has to end now. Yes, I agree that we made a mistake trying to investigate her. But let's just forget that now and concentrate on our future. Come in. Listen. Ah, Philip. Listen, listen. Okay, you're welcome. I've been expecting you. Sit down. So I have his um, his name and address. I have his uh, make of car and uh, number plate, sir. So, and and oh, that, that, that's okay for now. You may go, please. Go. It's okay, Philip. I'll see you at home. Alright, sir. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day, sir. Tony, I will kill that boy. I will teach him not to cover people's wives ever again. No, Peter. No, you will not do that. Now listen to me. Let's just put our heads together and think of a better way to confront this problem. Nobody's killing anybody, so get that thought out of your head, okay? Hey. Hey. Sister. 
what, what's wrong with your face? Oh, no. Oh, it's just, just a minor bruises. Yeah, I'll be fine. So, what's the surprise you said he had for me? Hello. Is this not my husband's secretary? Dear sister, she's here with me. After he asked me to spy on her, I realized she had nothing to do with the husband. Yes. Please, ma. I requested for this visit. I heard of the things that had been going on between yourself and your husband, and I felt responsible. Please, ma, forgive me. See, that day you came into the office, I just went in to help him remove something from his back. And that was just when you came in. Please, ma, there's nothing going on between your husband and I. Please. Um, it's okay. Um, it's okay. Just to get up, okay? Get up. Um, I guess I should say I'm, I'm sorry for overreacting. Or, you know, sending Philip to spy on you. Could you just forget all about this, please? Uh, meanwhile, I was spoken before you guys walked in. Let's just go in so we... No, no, sister, we, we're chilling our way. I uh, just want to let you know we're traveling tomorrow. Why are you traveling and... What, what, what do you mean by we are traveling together? Oh, madam, you sent him to spy on me, but I web cubbed him. We'll be leaving for his cadet entrance examination, which comes up next tomorrow. Wait a minute. Are you, are you, are you, are you trying to tell me that you guys are already taken? <laughs> <laughs> See, he has the qualities I want in my man, and not minding the circumstances surrounding our meeting. I've accepted him. It's <sighs> mm. <That's> good. <laughs> Please, you're, you're welcome to my home. Have a seat. Thank you. Sit down, please. Hmm. Caleb, you really <laughs> are smart. <laughs> um, sister. Again, as much as I want to thank you for all the assistance and appreciate what you've done, done for me, I also want to ask for forgiveness. Um, before I told Fina about this, I thought I was doing the right thing. Okay, I... I... I want you to stop every relationship you're having with Dr. Mark. Everything, whatever it is you've had with him, I would like you to stop it. I will advise you to stop it. <laughs> yes, because your husband sent me to spy on the both of you. And I did. I took pictures. I took pictures. I took master pictures. I took I took pictures of you and him having lunch. I took pictures of you. Everywhere you've gone with him, I had them in print. Everything you've done with him, I had them in print and they're very bad pictures. And your husband has them. Sorry.
was the meaning of what you were saying on phone, sir. How could she leave without even telling you or going to pick up Jessica from school? Velma, please, I just called you so that you can help me take my daughter to your house. I'll go and look for her myself, and if I don't find her, then I'll have to notify the police by tomorrow. I hope nothing has happened to her. Don't worry, don't worry yourself. Just take my daughter to your place. Jessica! Jessica! It's a long story. Wait, wait, MC. There's, there's something I want to say on you, okay? I don't have much time to, to spend here, okay? Look, I want to tell you something. You see, um... My, 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 my husband and I... Yeah, we've been having this problem. You, we, we're having those problems, you know, and... Uh, mm -hmm. after I met you. What are you talking about? What's going on? Of your wife without the courtesy of an introduction? Does this place look like a police station or who do you think you're talking to? Or you don't know I'm Susan's husband? Now tell me where she is before I lose my temper. I'm going to count to two. And if you don't tell me where she is. 
What 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 you what what you what? Ah! 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 You're not even ashamed of yourself. Look at both of you. Take a look. Take a look at that. I said take a look. See the show of shame you have made of yourself. Where do I begin to shoot from? You know what the Bible says about coveting other people's wives? Please, please, I, 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 I could explain. Please, please, I, I could explain. Please. Please, please, I pray in the name of God. Listen to this. Let's just go home and this. What did I not do for you? Eh? What was my shortcoming? I have loved you from the very first day to this very moment. So tell me where did I go wrong? By giving you all my heart? I wasn't comfortable when you started this business venture of yours but I had to give in because I wanted you to be happy. And this is how you pay me back for trusting you? No problem. Uh, sir, uh, please. Will you uh, shut up? Sir, 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 sir please. I'm, 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 a, I'm very sorry, sir. I'm very sorry. She, she, she never told me she was, she was married. Please, sir. Please, please, please forgive me. Please. Forgive you? Forgive you for breaking my marriage? My home? The very essence of my existence? Men like you are not worthy to leave. Men like you are not worthy to leave. <laughs> Passed right through. 
So no vital organs were affected. But I assure you, she'll come around very soon. No problem about that. That's okay, doctor. For now, I want you to give her all the medical attention she needs. But something still bothers me. I don't seem to believe the statement the husband made to the police. That's why I want you to move her to a private ward until she regains consciousness. Yeah, that's not a problem, but what do I tell your husband when he comes around? Well, tell him you're acting under police instructions. All right. That reminds me. You said you saw a gun behind him when he came here. Yeah, I actually did. But he quickly covered it when he knew I saw it. That was why I demanded for police reports. That was very smart of you, doctor. Okay. Anyway, I have to be going now. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Meanwhile, if there are any new developments, please call me. Okay. And one more thing, Inspector. He actually said and insisted that he should be the first to know when a wife regains consciousness. He really said that? Then? Oh, sure. I want you to disregard that. Do as I said. Thank you very much. Welcome, welcome section. No problems. All right. Good.
affection that you gave to me. I keep on remembering. I cannot let it go. But I know inside of me, this has got to stop. I've got to go back home where I do belong. Oh, baby, this is wrong. But it feels so right. I've got to let this go. Not to worry, nurse. Uh, everything is under control for now. Okay. Um, uh, I would like you to call me if you see him first. Okay. Right. Uh, here's my card. Okay. Please call me. I'll do that. Yeah. Mm, have yourself a nice day. You too. Bye. Excuse me, Yes. Have I heard you asking questions about Dr. Mark? Yes. Did you perchance see him? Yes, I did, but that was before and after he was attacked. Attacked? By who? I don't know who he was, but I heard the other man that came with him. Call him Peter. No. Peterson. P Peterson. Peterson. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. From the State Criminal Investigation Department. I want to see Mr. Philip. Uh, um, please, sir. I hope there's no problem, sir. I, I hope he's not in, in trouble, sir. Uh, no, my sister, there's no problem at all. I just want to ask him something, that's all. Okay, sir. He went to Abuja for a police training exam, and I really don't know when you come back. <laughs> well, I see. So he wants to be an officer, too. Anyway, thanks a lot. Please tell him when he comes back that I came to look for him. Uh, and um, he should come to Central Police Station as soon as he returns. And that's for Inspector Thompson. Okay? Okay, sir. For the mother of Dr. Mark and attempted murder of your wife, you have the right to remain silent. If you still may be used against you in the court of law, what you have the, the right to call your lawyer when we get to the station. What's the meaning of this? You should tell us where his wife is and not this. We're just coming from the ward and she's not there. I'm sorry to disappoint you, sir. I'll not tell you anything until we get to the station. Gina Peterson, you have the right to make 
Only two phone calls, but when we get to the station. Hey, wait. Hold on, hold on. That's it. That's uh, it. Tony, please. Pick up my daughter from school. Take care of her. Then yourself and Thelma work on the stadium project. I'll call my lawyer and my father at once. But Honorable Justice J.K. Akewumi presiding. Do we know the basis of the day? Yes, my lord. Look, I have case number 173. A case of murder, an attempted murder, holding before this court this day, between Engineer Peterson Ugoshuku Ujuku versus the States. Will the two counsel move to the bench, please? I need to be sure that I will not teach you your job in this court. I will not entertain any statement that has nothing to do with this case. Yes. You may go. The court calls to stand Engineer Peterson, Ugoshuku Ujuku. Are you a Christian, Muslim, or a beggar? I'm a Christian. <laughs> then do swear. I swear by Almighty God. I swear by Almighty God. That the evidence I shall give in this case. That the evidence I shall give in this case. Before this court. Before this court. Shall be the truth. Shall be the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. My Lord, the witness is under oath and is standing trial for the murder of Dr. Mark Dixon whose body is yet to be discovered by the police, and also attempted murder of his wife, Mrs. Susan Ojuku. Are you guilty or not, Mr. Ojuku? Not guilty, my lord. The state council may begin a cross-examination of the accused now. Mr. Peterson Ojuku, could you kindly tell this honorable court your name, your age, your occupation and address? My name is Peterson Ugochuku Ojuku. I'm a building and site development engineer. I'm 40 years old. Are you married or do you have a woman in your life? Yes, I'm married. My wife's name is Susan Ayuade Ojuku. I also have a daughter. Mr. Peterson Ojuku, do you remember the 17th of July 2004? Do you remember being caught by your wife on that day in a rather compromising position with your secretary? Objection, my lord. The private affair of my client is not relevant to this case. Overruled. The witness will answer this question. My lord, on the day in question, an aunt stung me in the back. And when I shouted, my secretary ran into my office and helped me remove it. Are you aware that your wife is into corporate gifts and adverts management? Yes, I gave her the money to start the business. Is it true that your wife runs her business together with taking care of your daughter, which sometimes makes her come home tired? That is the main reason I never wanted her to work in the first place. I made good provisions for her, but she insisted on going out to work. Can you recollect the 30th of September 2004, when you raped your wife and beat her into coma? That is a lie. Mr. Peterson, please answer yes or no. Objection, my lord. Yes. The question is leading. Sustain. State Council, rephrase your question. 
I put it to you, Mr. Peterson Ojuku, that on the 3rd of October that you went to Dr. Mark's house and shot him and your wife, Susan. I did not kill him. My Lord, let it be on record of this honorable court that Mr. Peterson Ojuku went to Dr. Mark's house, who happens to be his wife's business partner and an artist, and shot him and his wife, Susan. He took Dr. Mark's body and buried it in an undisclosed grave. But luckily, his wife survived the gunshot. That is a big lie. My lord, that will be all for now. I'll call back the accused later. Mr. Juku, you may step down now. Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you, God? Yes, I do. My Lord, the witness is on that oath. Please, madam, could you tell this court your name and your relationship with the accused person? My names are Mrs. Thelma Chigozi Ejeku. I was his personal secretary and presently his general manager and the wife to his best friend and business partner, Mr. Anthony Iliwichi. And how long have you known Mr. Peterson? I have worked with him for over 11 years now. But I got to know him in the real sense of knowing a man three years ago. What do you mean in the real sense of knowing a man? You would not understand. You see, I came to Lagos without even having a school living certificate. But when I... Objection, my lord. I don't see the relevance of her telling us her life history. My lord, this woman is the only staff of my client who started his business with him long before he got married. So, whatever she tells us, could help us analyze the true psychology of Mr. Peterson. Overrule. Madam, go ahead. But when I saw him at the business center, where I had gone to make photocopies for my uncle, he called me and asked me if I would like to work with him. That was the beginning of my life. So, what happened from then on? Did he start dating or sleeping with you? I wish then that he had, but no, instead, he paid for a room for me when I had problems with my uncle's wife, made me sit for GC and UMP, increased my salary and paid for my school fees until I finished my BSc program in Unilag. Today, I'm glad to say that I'm his general manager. He's my father, my brother. He calls me his, he calls me his little sister. He called me a few days ago to come pick up his daughter, but he never told me that his wife was having an affair outside their marriage. Are you? Telling this court that Mr. Peterson never at any time tried to date or force you to sleep with him? Never. He is the only family I have in Lagos. Tell this court, how many girlfriends did he have before getting married to Susan? Just one. Her name was Abioye Akinwumi. She stays in London now with her husband. He actually wanted to marry her, but her father refused. One last thing, Mrs. Eke. How would you describe your boss? If he had asked me to date or marry him, I would have accepted it all my life. 
But that is not to discredit my husband. My boss is a perfect gentleman. With a great sense of responsibility and understanding. That will be all for now, my lord. Does the state council wish to cross-examine this witness? Mrs. Thelma, you may step down for now. The state wishes to call Inspector Thompson Williams. May Inspector Thompson Williams please proceed to the witness box. Inspector Thompson, how did you discover there was no Ambrobi shootout in the area that day? After Mr. Peterson told me what happened to his wife, I visited the area with my men on investigation and asked the people around if any such incident happened. No one claimed to have heard or seen anything. Then the doctor called me after Mrs. Sojuku recovered consciousness. And it was from her that we learned that it was actually Mr. Peterson that shot his wife and Dr. Mark. Did she tell you how she was shot and what became of Dr. Mark? Uh, not really, but she said when he was about to shoot Dr. Mark, she jumped in front of the gun and slumped. I believe he must have gone ahead to shoot Dr. Mark and carried him somewhere to dump him or even buried him. Objection, my lord! This witness has no right to conclude for this court whether my client murdered and buried Dr. Mark until proven beyond every reasonable doubt that that incident actually took place. Sustained. Inspector Tom, you will not teach this court how to conclude this case. I understand, my lord. Inspector Tom, in your statement, you said you found an automatic revolver with the accused. Um, could you explain further? Yes, uh, the doctor told me that he saw a gun behind him on that very day at his back. So when we got to the location, I actually saw a bullet impact on the floor beside the gate, exactly the, wife, exactly the way the wife had described. And when we got to the house, I found a gun. You did? Yes. Hmm. My lord, that would be all for now. Does the defense counsel wish to examine it? Yes, my lordship. My lord, I tender this as an exhibit. Mark this exhibit one. Inspector Thompson, do you in any way recognize this report? Yes, but this has nothing to do with this case. My lord, the document you have before you is a medical report of a young girl who was impregnated by the son of an influential politician. And our dearest Inspector Thompson was in charge of the case. And he worked with Dr. Mark who was the chief surgeon in the hospital where the little girl was admitted. Objection, my lord. Overrule. Continue the first counsel. Thank you, my lord. The young girl lost her womb in the process. And our Inspector Thompson and Dr. Mark went behind the DPO of the station and collected a whooping sum of three million naira from the politician. <laughs> and shared it with Dr. Mark. So, Inspector Thompson, I put it to you that you know where Dr. Mark is, yet you have refused to bring him to this court
to testify for fornicating with Mrs. Susan Ojuku. And that you have plans for marriage behind her legitimate husband, whom you are framing up to conveniently get him out of the way to enable Dr. Mark to marry her in France. You're a liar. I did not take any money from anybody, okay? I did my job and I did it diligently. Inspector Chop. Yes, my lord. Mind your reaction. I would not allow such language in my court. I apologize, my lord. My lord, I have a witness who will testify that on the night of the incident, Dr. Mark was seen in the hospital with somebody whose description fits Inspector Thompson. Finally, I want it to be recorded in this court that our dear Inspector Thompson obtained statement from Mrs. Susan Ojuku without allowing her husband access to her. And I want to ask our dear Inspector, why? My Lord, we were only trying to save the life of that young woman. When we suspected that he may try to kill her, he finds out that she spoke to the police. That was all. My Lord, let me ask our diligent inspector this question. How can a man who rushes his own wife to the hospital while she is unconscious in a bid to save her life now turn around and murder her when she regains consciousness? My dear inspector, I ask you, why? That will be all for now, my lord. You may step down for now, Inspector Tom. The courts now adjourn till Monday next week. All right. Court. Sir, he never thought that it would be like this. All he told me was that he was going to deal with the boy, not to kill him. Okay, how do we find the boy's body? So that's a problem we have to solve before Monday. What of those keys you told me he gave you? Have you checked what he kept in his drawers? Because I believe that police boy has some interest in this case. I have given the lawyer the pictures and other relevant documents. He's studying them as we speak. But wait. Philip. Philip. Where, where, where can we find Philip? Who is Philip? Uh, Philip was the boy Peter hired, so to speak, to monitor the wife's movement. He took some incriminating pictures of the wife and Dr. McDavis. Those were the pictures I gave to the lawyer with other relevant documents. So Philip is the only one who has had them speak together. Yes, and um, maybe if you get him to testify in court, it may make things easier for Mr. Peterson. What do you think? Why don't you go for the point? Why like go back to the prison? Mrs. Susan Ojibwe, can you tell this court your true relationship with Dr. Mark? We don't have any relationship. Dr. Mark asked me to marry him, man. I made a very big mistake, you know, but I'm sorry. Madam, did you at any time discuss business with Dr. Mark, who also doubles as your artist? Yes. Uh, yes. He he paints for me and also um, helps in developing my design plans. Did you ever have lunch or dinner dates with him? Yes, on, on several locations. Um, I, I, I also, I'd also, I'd also been to his house where he used as a studio. On the day you were short, can you tell the Scott what happened? I don't want to lose my husband. 
I don't want to lose my husband and please. Madam, please. The life of Dr. Mark, your partner and artist, is at stake here. And it's only you who witness whether he was killed or not. So please tell the Scott what happened. Um, on that day, I, I I went to Dr. Mark's house. And then my husband found out. So he came there to, to look for me. And I, I, I hid in, in the security post. But when he threatened to, to kill Dr. Mark, if, if he failed to produce me, I, I, I came out. I, I, jumped, I jumped in front of the gunman when he tried to, to shoot Dr. Mark in order to stop him. But it was already too late. My husband shot me. That is all I can remember. I, I don't know if he, if he killed Dr. Mark or not. Uh, that would be awful. The defense counsel will proceed with his cross-examination. Thank you, my lord. I tender these photographs as exhibit. Mark it as exhibit two. As a lot of places. Madam, I'm sorry for the bullet wound. Now, have you seen those photographs before? Yes. Um, Philip told me about it and my, my husband brought it to Dr. Mark's house on that day. And you still want to retain in your statement that you never had any formal relationship with Dr. Mark? No, I, I, I did it because I was upset over what I saw in my... No, madam. Your relationship with Dr. Mark started when you had the bike accident. Not when you saw your husband and his secretary, Fina, in the office. True or false? It, 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 it's not. Please answer the question, Mrs. Ojuku. Did you start seeing Dr. Mark before or after the incident in your husband's office? It was. It, it was before the incident. Your husband, after two weeks, tried to make peace with you over the incident in his office, but you still went on seeing Dr. Mark and denied your own husband his joy of matrimonial purpose and right. Because in those pictures, you were seen with Dr. Mark on different occasions, in the hotels, restaurants, and even in his own home. Objection, my lord. Overruled. The first counsel continued. On the night you claimed to have been raped by your husband, you had sex with Dr. Mark earlier on in the day, right? That's not true. That, that, that's a lie. <laughs> I'm sorry, Peter. I'm sorry. Look, I will take it as a yes. Now, are you saying that you never told him when you first met that you were married? I tried to, but he wouldn't listen to me. Mrs. Susan Ojuku, take a look at your husband. That man there is 
is standing trial today for murder because of your unfaithfulness and your filthy lifestyle. He married you, educated you till you obtain your BSc and master's degree. Yet you want to send him to jail? Tell this court how you were paid to send your own daughter's father to jail and how you plan to travel to France with Dr. Ma. Objection, my lord. Sustain. I, I never meant any evil. It's, it's all my fault. It's, it's just a mistake. This is my husband. I, I don't want to send him to jail, please. I... My lord, I have a man who investigated the activities of Mrs. Susan Ojuku and Dr. Mark, and he is prepared to testify to that effect in this court. Finally, my lord, I want it to be on record that Mrs. Susan Ojuku, Dr. Mark, Davis Dixon and Inspector Thompson Williams are up to some crimes and they should be made to face the full wrath of the law. That will be all, my lord. You may step down, madam. This court is adjourned to Friday for final hearing. Arise. Very cold one at that. Excuse us, I'd like to sort things out with Inspector Tom here. Police? What are you doing with the police officer? Um, excuse me, officer. Is my son in any kind of trouble? There's no problem. Uh, Tom here is my friend. There's a problem. I'm sorry, madam. I have to arrest your son. If he does not tell me the things I want to know right now, what are you talking about, Tom? What has come over you? You only acting stupid, Mark. I want to know what happened in your house here. What is going on between you and Ak Peter Snakala's wife? What are you people talking about? Eh? Mark, do you have problems with anybody in the office? I'm, I'm not at all, Mom. Uh... Mom, please uh, excuse us, okay? I'll explain things later. And I say no. I want you to explain in her presence. This case has gone to court and everybody believes that you were killed and buried by Mr. Peterson Akala. Killed? Oh my God. Mark, what nonsense have you gotten yourself into? What? Mom, it's a long story, okay? I managed to treat myself that night and and ran out of town that same night. So 
So, uh, Mrs. Akala never told you she was married? No. All right. Why didn't you tell her husband the story then? He didn't even give me a chance to explain myself. Besides, he... He had pictures of us in his possession. Uh, this guy you're talking about? Is she the same girl you wanted me to meet? Yes, ma'am. But, but she never told me she was married. She only told me she had a child. Uh, well, uh, Mark, I, I, I want you to come to court the day after tomorrow. I don't want that basket mouth of a lawyer to call me to the witness box again. Besides, he's already casting aspersions on my integrity as an officer of the law. My son, you have to make yourself available for them to see that you're not dead. I'll go with you, okay? I know a retired judge who could help us if the case turns bad. Okay? I wish I never met her. I wish I never met her in the first place. It's okay. I'll do as you've said, Mom. I think I'll just take my leave now. Thank you very much, officer. All right, ma'am. But why didn't you come home after you were discharged? Eh? Listen to me, my daughter. You have made your mistakes. And I, I thank God you're alive. You need to be strong for your daughter and pray for your husband. Susie, if there is anyone who stands a better chance of helping Peterson win this case, that person is you. We make mistakes. Just like I blamed myself for advising him to send a secret investigator after you. I, I can go on and on and on tell you how I planted that evil seed of hatred in him, but it would make no positive impact. You must all work together with his lawyer to win this case. Susie, you have to be strong for him. He needs you now more than ever. Okay? I will be in that court on Friday. Honey, we have to leave now. It's getting late. You know, Jessica is all alone at home. All right. Uh, Susie, I'll come with the lawyer tomorrow. But please, you mustn't speak to anyone about this issue, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. <clears throat> I never wanted to kill him, my lord. I just wanted to scare him so that he could leave my wife alone. I guess I took my anger too far. I shot at him, but she blocked him and took the bullet for him. And I, I, I got very angry when he went to help her and I shot at him again. I didn't wait to see if he was dead or not. All I was concerned about was taking my wife to the hospital. When we got to the hospital, the doctor insisted on seeing a police report. Now we had to go back to the police. I didn't know what to tell the police people, so I, I, I I just, I just told him that she had been shot by armed robbers so I could get the police report from them. I went back to the hospital. All I was concerned about was the safety and well-being of my wife because I love my wife very much. 
Did you at any time during your crisis with your wife plead with her for forgiveness and understanding? Yes, I did, but she wouldn't have me back. I would, I would never, ever rape my wife. Never. That would be all, my lord. The state counsel may cross-examine the accused. Engineer Peter Sinujukun, can you tell these courts, in one simple language, why you should not be regarded as a murderer? Look, 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 if I had wanted to kill my wife or the doctor, I would have done it very conveniently without any finger pointing at me. No one saw me enter that compound and no one saw me leave. So, where then did you bury Dr. Mark? Where did you bury Dr. Mark? I, I, I didn't... I I'm didn't still very much alive, but she I'm not dead. Please, sir, forgive me. I never knew she was your wife. Will somebody control this madness in my court? Who is this man? My lord, may I ask this court to recognize the presence of Dr. Mark Davis Dixon? The very person being claimed to have been murdered by my client. I request to see both counsels and their client right now in my chambers. They need to know the meaning of the madness that occurred in my courtroom. My lord, I sincerely apologize. But this man is the same doctor whom my learned colleague and the inspector claimed was murdered by my client. My lord, I pray that you allow him to testify in this case. My lord, I'm sorry for the unannounced intrusion. I never had any form of notification of his coming. I pray your understanding, my lord. I warn both of you from the beginning of the proceeding that I will not tolerate any form of dramatic display in my courtroom. And for your information, I know this young man more than any of you. You have been my son-in-law, but for reasons best known to me, it never worked. Come in, come in. Who is that? Oh, oh, no. How are you? I'm fine, thank it's you. And you? It's been a long time. Yes. How is my friend Dixon? He's doing great. Okay. <laughs> How's your family, sir? Oh, oh God, it's massive. <laughs> what are you doing here? Are you involved in this case? I saw you in the courtroom. Somehow. The doctor here is my son. Oh. Too bad. Your Honor. My name is uh, Dr. Peters. Engineer Peterson is my son. Oh, you're welcome. Excuse me, sorry. Have we met? I don't think I know you, sir. Are you perchance related to Chief Badmos Adedeji, the former Commissioner of Police? Yes, that's my father. Do you know him? Then you must be his second daughter, Biola. Am I right? That's my name. I can't seem to please your face, sir. Um, can you recall an incident that happened some years back? When my son gave you an injury on your left eye. Yes. <laughs> you remembered my face. Yes, I am good at remembering faces. You actually know her. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
Yes. So, you know, we lived in the same neighborhood for many years in the 80s. Really? Yes. Yeah, but I remember a particular incident when my son gave her an injury on her left eye. Oh. How is your son, sir? That's why we are here, my dear. Your Honor, the two people involved in this case are actually brothers. They are blood brothers what? that were separated some years back. They also have a third brother, Your, your Honor. He was adopted by Justice Uwakwe Ege, who died two years ago. Before he died, he wrote me a letter. He gave me the phone number and address of Tony. That's one of the reasons why I came back to Nigeria, to be able to locate him. Tony. Tony Ege. Tony. Tony Ege. I've known him for about a year now do business together. He's in the courtroom. Could it be the same person? It's possible. Come in. Good day, my lord. You are welcome. Good day, everybody. Good day. But this is what's going on. I don't know, Tony. This this lady just made a certain revelation. I'd like you to hear it straight from her. I was actually trying to explain to them that both of them are related. They are blood brothers. What? That's impossible. That's not all. They have a third brother, second on the line, by name Tony. He was adopted by Justice Owakwe Egeku, who died two years ago. My name is Anthony Egeku. Justice Egeku was my father. Really? Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, this is wonderful. Then the three of you are related. Your blood brothers from the same parents. <laughs> that, that, that's impossible. That's just scandalous. Listen, Tony. I adopted Mark. Justice Uwakwe Egeku adopted you. Yes, and Dr. Peters adopted Peterson. So you're all from the same parents. I have sent for the police DP. But he told me he won't be able to make it down here. I am suggesting that uh, we take those kids back to their relatives. Hmm, doctor, I'm not sure you would understand the outcome of that action. You see, doctor, I employ their father. He worked for me for 10 good years before he died. He had no relative. Even his wife is either from Ghana or Cameroon. I'm not too sure of the place. So where do we take them to? Doctor, why don't we adopt these children? I mean, I don't have a child of my own. And my husband is due to go back to France very soon. Why don't you process the adoption papers? I would really like to have a new baby. Doctor, don't you think that is about the best thing to be done? You see, Doctor... My wife and I lost our son two years ago. And at the moment, she cannot have a child due to some medical complications. Mm. And adopting a son for her is not a bad idea at all. Moreover, she likes uh, Akala's second son, Tony. Mm, I guess that leaves me with the first son, isn't it? Let us go ahead and make the arrangement and then later we invite the police to witness. Don't worry about that, Doctor. I will get all the legal documents ready by Monday. You just go ahead to provide the police report. So, in that case, I keep the keys with me. I mean, when the papers are ready, pick them up from my place. Yes. Oh, that's a very good idea, Mrs. Williams. I, I will send my driver to drop you at home. Yes. Thank you very much, Doctor. Let me. You, you, you mean to tell me that we all are, that, that we all are related? Blood brothers.
for both councils approach the best place. State Council, what is your stand in this case? My Lord, based on the last physical evidence in this court, the state would like to withdraw all prosecuting process against Engineer Peter Simeju. The First Council? My Lord, we are delighted to applaud my learned colleague for her courage and understanding. And above all, we are very grateful to this honorable court. You may have your seats. This case is hereby dismissed from former hearing in the court of law. Arise. Thank you. 